This one? Yeah, show me that. Okay. Okay, this is what I used to look like before I chased cows, <clears throat> fixed fence, chased <laughs> cranes, and then collected plastic bottles. When she was in Japan, uh, she noticed how everybody was cleaning everything up and, and, and sorting everything out and everything, and it looked so nice and clean to her. I walked around, and every day of the week, there'd be something else sitting on the sidewalk, you know? There'd be a container of this and a container of that, and, but there'd only be one thing every day. When she came back to Wisconsin, and they were just in the process of, of doing something with the landfill because it was filled up. I went out and sat on the landfill and watched everything that came in for that day. It seemed to me like so much of it was plastic, 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 every kind of plastic. And she went to the county board and she said, well, why don't you start recycling? I don't really remember how we got, I mean, you had the idea but I don't remember exactly when you brought it up to me. Well, I think one of the evenings when you and John, were, when he and Woody were working on their still, we, mm -hmm. <laughs> I never. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was seventy nine. When the yeah. I started studying on up the uh, different plastics and. Why weren't they recycling the plastics? I called the Borden Milk Company in Milwaukee and asked them about their bottles and how they were processed. And they said, well, if we have a mistake, we just put it back in and re-blow it. And I said, oh, they are recyclable. And they said, oh, yes. Whose idea was it to turn in the life insurance policies? I think, I don't know, I, that's the only way I could figure getting any money and and so Jenny was, just went along with me I think, mm -hmm. I don't think, uh, yeah. no, because we, we did, it. yeah, we said we're not going <laughs> to go anywhere, we'll be, we don't need our license insurance. They just died laughing when they saw us. That was that made their day. Loading that plastic grinder in the back of the truck, it weighed a ton. We, we were both so busy. When we got into it, we went all the way. I mean, we did everything. Yeah, that was six days a week. Right, and then right. if we had a good March wind, it was seven days a week because I chased the stuff all the way up the highway as it blew away. Anyhow, what do you want? Okay, so what are you showing me right now? Well, I was going to show you how most of the material came in. Wow. What are you doing in this picture again, this one? I'm this one? crushing the cans. By hand? By hand, and pitch them, put them in the different containers that they went to market. So how many towns did you all have all together? Oh, we had Lodi, we had Baraboo, we had Sauk and Prairie, and uh, we got Maisomany and Loganville, uh, Reedsburg. I guess that was all. That was enough. <laughs> now the, the building over there on that side, that used to just be cement revetments, uh, as you could see in those pictures in the <coughs> book. There, they were open and we dumped White glass in one, green glass in one revetment, and, and uh, brown glass in another revetment. The garbage trucks that were hauling all of the recyclables in 
would dump right in this alleyway. Whenever there would be a load come in, I'd put everybody on it. Now everybody get to, to pitching. I had a forklift on each side of the dumping area, and that way if we needed to push, some, push the stuff through, we could. I'd call Badger Ordnance and ask them if they could help me load up. I had semis backed up here and I needed to get stuff loaded. And they'd bring that great big monster of a machine over here and they could just scoop it up by the, yeah. Oh, this is neat. Here are some of the products that they were making from our recycled plastic. These are uh, culverts, and this is a uh, pipe for drainage fields. And nowadays, even fences are made out of white, and you think they're white board fences, and they're white plastic fences. As far as uh, other companies uh, across the United States, I don't think until I got mixed up in it that any of them were recycling plastic. They were always asking me now, is this kind of plastic good? Is this kind of plastic good? <laughs> and so that's, that's how it kept going. At the time, there was no uh, classification uh, as to whether it was polystyrene, poly, uh, high-density polyethylene, low-density polyethylene, or what. We came up with the idea of a little imprint on the bottom of every container, a little triangle emblem with a number inserted in it and that would identify what the plastic was, one, two, three, on up. And so I was real happy when that went through, and nowadays everybody can see that. I got this letter, would I come down to Mexico? They would pay all expenses, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, I, I've retired. Said so the only thing we can get from EPA is this in my paper. Boy, they were sure sending it around. I don't know what. I wish they'd send me a copy, so I'd know which one <laughs> or what I said or when. My folks always said. Use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. 